Merry Christmas 2020. My name is Daniel of Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Um, one from the north as Isaiah 41 predicted. Um, Daniel 12, the whole chapter, I don't even, I was going to read the word, but uh, read it for yourself. What it says is that there would be a latter-day Daniel who would embrace his destiny uh, as the Elijah and who would arise in the latter days. That's the very last sentence. And what it discloses is that the wise shall shine as the sun when he brings forth um, the news uh, of, of the spiritual happenings and the uh, manifesting Bible prophecies that are starting to happen left, right, and center in many, many ways. And Daniel 7 predicts that this latter-day Daniel would cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, which is a good thing so that the world can get along. Uh, that actually comes from the very last sentence of the Kingdom Age New Covenant, which has been restored to its glory, to what it uh, was intended. Um, and uh, God says in the very last sentence of his covenant to all flesh, so that God would pour out his spirit on all flesh, as the prophet Joel said, that uh, God, uh, no one shall even need to be taught about him anymore beyond this revelation. Uh, this happening because that Daniel 12 predicts that in order for the wise to shine as the sun that what would happen is that his word which was closed he spoke to the original Daniel and he says Daniel my word is closed until the time of the end well this is the time of the end and it's the beginning of the kingdom age and it's begun with his kingdom age covenant being given to all flesh and that has uh, been presented to the world in one of my videos called uh, The Prophetic Word of Joel Osteen in the last 15 minutes. The New Covenant is has always been the Kingdom Age New Covenant. Jeremiah was told that uh, it was his job to tear down all the kingdoms of man, man all the, the faith. Uh, religions that would divide us because at this point unless we get together and embrace each other uh, with love shining the way uh, mankind could not survive we are so close to the brink of uh, oblivion of Isaiah 24 and Zephaniah 1 1 read it for yourself but don't weep because it's an erasable curse that will not happen uh, according to the very last sentence of the book of Malachi if people will entertain me and listen to the prophecy that I've uh, pieced all together, everything will make sense. Sometimes things never make sense until the end of the story. The end of the story, the climax of the age is the beginning of the kingdom age, uh, must intellectually begin now or it could never begin. We, and those that are opposed to me are part of a real big problem. Unless the hearts of the fathers turn to the sons, sons to the fathers and children, everybody love everybody. Unless everybody starts loving everybody, uh, non-respecting uh, men, uh, not worrying about who they are and what they are. If, if uh, all are the same, we all bleed the same and love is the saving grace. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. To be born again has always only meant uh, love, reflame, fan on Johnny Torch, like Fantastic Four. But the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, I am he. And this interconnects with the prophecy of Habakkuk that the just shall live by my faith because it's the correct faith. Um, Jesus, uh, the Lord, uh, breathed upon me several times early in my life when I was 30 years uh, uh, old. And the prophet actually told me, Daniel, this is you uh, in Isaiah 49, one that's mouth was made sharp like a sword uh, because, well, I sold credit cards for uh, uh, 20 years and I easily walked up to a million people. These days I saw fish. I'm a, a Latter-day Fisher, a men whom uh, nobody would ever let me preach in their church because I'm preaching love and love for everybody, irrespective of what they believe. And Jesus has never looked upon anything other than our hearts. Is your light on? Because his everlasting kingdom age covenant has always been over all mankind. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end. And all... Uh, religion shall be is obsolete as Hebrews 8 
Paul declared would happen. And that's another prophecy that's manifesting through the, 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 the revelation that I, as the latter-day Daniel, as the one embracing my destiny as uh, Elijah, uh, has made. Uh, the discovery I've made, it's equivalent to finding, uh, in comparison, the uh, Nobel Peace Prize in a Cracker Jack box. Uh, it's so huge just a re recognition that Jeremiah 31, it's only three verses in the Bible, the biggest three verses, because they've always been literal, uh, verses 33 to 35. And God says to all mankind, I forgive your iniquity, I shall remember your sins no more, I will write your, my law on your hearts, and no one shall need to know anything more about me. Now, if you understand Bible prophecy, people, according to the Bible, uh, Satan is the, the uh, accuser of the brethren who goes before the Lord day and night. I, I believe that's in the book of Joel and Timothy also. But anyways, the bottom line is because this covenant has finally been given, that means that Satan can never more be the accuser of the brethren. So you know what? If anyone likes the idea of a world without Satan, this is the jump ahead that the Lord is giving mankind if his word is true and it is utterly true that will bring 1,000 years of peace and no one will need to argue about was he divine, wasn't he divine, it doesn't matter. It's never mattered. The only thing that's mattered is, is your love light on. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. And his love is such that uh, now the sower has uh, overtaken the reaper, as Amos 9 has foretold, the, 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 the sickle of the everlasting gospel, which I have written, is out there. But the bottom line, uh, the, 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 the last chapter of Daniel 12 is manifesting because I am the latter-day Daniel. And I have written uh, the last testament of Christ, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, free, if anybody ever wants to read it. Uh, Armageddon.owsley at gmail.com, if anybody ever does. But I've been uh, writing 200 books to the Lord's glory for 200 years. And you know what? Uh, I was told, Daniel, this is you, Isaiah 49. And I am, and I have been, because it predicted that uh, I would come to the place where I would realize I had wasted all my time in vain. Isaiah 49.8. I've been trying to, thousands of views on uh, on my videos here, and uh, I've been trying to get people to look at my work for many years. Uh, not one taker. Everybody's afraid. If they listen to some false prophet, they might go to hell and burn forever and ever because uh, God says if, uh, if, if you don't believe I'm love, I'm going to kill you forever. It's time to wake up. Out of the, from out of the dark ages. The gross darkness is dissipating. The Son of Righteousness is Isa Yeshua Jesus. He is love over all. He has our backs. And once people realize He's always had our backs, then the one world religion shall be born in its fullness, which is His own words, Christ's own words. I bring His message of Malachi 3 1 that He said, would have to come in the latter days. He said so. That uh, John 10, 16, that in the latter days, those other, uh, not of the Hebrew fold, would hear his voice. The Buddhists, the Hindus, the this, the atheists. Atheists were more right than anybody. The, the things got really messed up. Uh, no one knew which way was up. <laughs> no one knew which way was up. That's Listen to the, the John Lennon's song, How by Ozzy Osbourne, great uh, rendition. And the truth is, uh, that's caused nothing but desolate heritages. Isaiah 49, 8. And if any so-called Elijah has a so-called message that doesn't go along with that, they are a false Elijah. I am the only one uh, that is able to connect all the dots. The, the, just the misunderstanding of the new covenant as the kingdom age covenant when it was always for the latter days. Even Haggai 2.2 2 said the same thing, that uh, God would bring forth the destruction of all the kingdoms of men. This has never happened, and it meant the kingdoms of faith. Watch a, a, a video uh, from uh, Buddha, uh, the Buddha's prophecy of the Holy One. Uh, it was foretold for this time that... Uh, the, the Son of Man, 
uh, in all glory would bring his will and his good tidings and his peace to all earth so that we could have the peace of Isaiah 2 foretold for the latter days that we would beat our swords into plowshare. Now, the bottom line is uh, we can't have war and peace both. One is true, one is false. Now, in between... We're going to have some issues, sure. We, we, we've got a lot of reformation but, uh, to happen, but the reformation starts here and here. And Daniel 12, for all that's believing the book of uh, the prophet Daniel, who is a latter-day prophet, uh, he is the latter-day prophet, along with Jeremiah and all the prophets of Hebrew nation. And the the... the Lion of Judah roars from out of Jerusalem and Israel has been given her salvation and her covenant for all time and it's always been secretly applying anyways because it's always been everlasting and for all mankind everyone that has their love light on they are guaranteed the, the greatest inheritance that all men have always desired and it is beyond the clouds it's the seventh heaven uh, and please uh, uh, by the way, uh, NASA has uh, just uh, do an image search of the New Jerusalem. Pictures uh, from NASA will pop up. Uh, it's been found, people. It's in heaven and it's shining and it looks like a city. And if that's not it, I don't know what else could be. But the bottom line is so much of what we believed has been erroneous and false and uh, come from tradition, not the word of God. And what the Word of God says is that there is a latter-day Daniel that will cause the shattering of the power of holy people to stop the desolate heritages. Uh, 2,000 years, Christians have been running around trying to save people that's already had their love light on and already were saved. I firmly believe there's some people who have never, ever need to be born again because they've always left their love light on. Lots to think about.